Now, here's a dining concept that'll sure make your head, if not your stomach, spin. It's a dinner at a table suspended 40 meters above ground. Well, since the concept of dinner in the sky hit Johannesburg, more and more people are exploring this unique way of dining. This is by far one of the most exciting dining experiences you'll ever have. And it's mainly because having dinner here isn't like having dinner at a normal restaurant. There's no doors, windows, or even a floor. Just a six-ton table piled high with food and champagne while a crane holds the entire structure 40 meters above the ground. Well, I think, you know, you saw tonight that uh, it's not an adrenaline rush of any sorts. It's just it's fine dining um, with a difference um, at 40 meters up in the sky. And I think that's what, you know, people just love it because you, you're exposed to the elements, um, enjoying the wines, the food, the fantastic dining, the views, uh, even in Joburg. Uh, we've just come back from Cape Town with extraordinary views, but yeah, in Joburg with the lights and Monte Casino in the background, it's fantastic. And I think it's the whole package deal of, of dining with angels up in the sky. It is for such reason why bringing this concept to South Africa didn't need much convincing. It took about five minutes uh, to, to convince the shareholders of this fantastic concept about putting a restaurant in the sky. And I think two days later I was in Belgium, up in the sky with the Belgians, the, the guys that came up with the concept, um, and obviously just loved it. Uh, phoned the guys back and said, you know, we're bringing it over. It's fantastic. South Africa's got to have this, uh, this restaurant, um, which is only the second of two in the world. And here we are. We've got dinner in the sky in South Africa and loving it. The restaurant sits 22 people, each carefully strapped in a race top seat that rotates about 180 degrees, giving guests the best views whilst they indulge in a three-course meal prepared on the ground by the chef. Now initially, when I looked around, uh, my customers were very uh, skeptical about going up, but they've absolutely enjoyed it. I think the trick is don't look down, don't look up, but uh, after you've been out there for a while, you know, you feel very comfortable and you look around and it's great. The timing is very important. You've got to make sure that uh, when you get up to the top that your food is still hot. So that's why on the main course we put a cloche on top um, so it does stay hot. So when you, do go, when you guys do get to the top, you've still got a nice uh, uh, warm meal. Main course we had um, chicken roulade, which is filled with pepper juice, feta and spinach, which was set on a thyme mash, um, served with a uh, aubergine parcel, which was filled with mushroom, mozzarella and sun-dried tomatoes, and that was served with a sage and uh, tomato cream. For dessert we had a, a martini cup of uh, berries, wild berries, and um, that was topped with a coulis and a meringue, and then that was also served with a honey and lavender creme brulee. After much success in Belgium and Europe, the 6.6-ton table has found its semi-permanent home in Johannesburg's Monte Casino. And although dinner is one of its main attractions, clients aren't entirely limited. This innovative restaurant welcomes team building, special events, corporate functions, business meetings and product launches. It is this versatility that has managed to put dinner in the sky as one of the top 10 most unusual restaurants in the world. The sky is not just a restaurant, it's actually a billboard in the sky. As you saw tonight, we've got a banner on underneath of the table. Um, DSTV has been a great sponsor for the first six months. We built a brand through actually having them as a sponsor. And I mean, we look forward to having HP uh, on board. They're a fantastic company and they love the idea. That's, you know, they buy into the whole idea and that's the first step. I mean, if people actually understand the concept and the media attention that it gets, that's why they've actually joined us, because they actually buy into that. We're always looking for innovative ideas, but I think, again, the intention here is to say, we need to support small, medium businesses. This is the growth engine. This particular organization is a small, medium business, and at the same time, we're getting our brand out there, and I think that that's a, it's a win-win for both of us. So whatever your requirements with this new concept, there's clearly no limits when it comes to ways you can impress your clients and that special someone.